You don't look very happy. This is the best part, actually. <laughs> I want to see you cry, like really cry, like a baby. So I'm here at the Foundry Climbing Wall in Sheffield uh, and Climbing Daily has been filming with Lattice Training and Tom Randall and Ollie Tor. As part of this I'm going to be doing their training series over the winter in Chamonix and today is my assessment day which means that Ollie makes me suffer all day. Just tell me a bit about what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to get Matt doing some pretty exhaustive training exercises uh, just to test him, see what areas he needs to improve on and then we know what to do to train him throughout the winter. Great, and uh, Tom, <laughs> looking very serious there. Uh, Tom, you're like the sort of one of the founders with Ollie, one of, one of the founders of Lattice. Uh, just tell me how it all started. It started about seven years ago or so when I was working as a coach with the GB climbing team, and I just couldn't find a way of assessing how good a climber was and how much they were improving the time. So I came up with the lattice board, which was a way to collect data, numbers, and be more objective on whether a climber had got better. Okay, so there you have it, potted history of lattice, uh, and now it's time for me to sweat. Okay, so I've had a bit of a warm up, feeling a little bit tired after two solid days of filming here, and now I have to be assessed. I'm quite nervous about this. I've never had myself measured before. I've got no idea if I'm good, bad, strong, weak, I think I know what my weaknesses are. Well, I'm pretty sure I know what my weaknesses are, but I guess I'm about to find out. <laughs> Alright, Ollie. Alright, Matt, you ready? I'm ready, I think. <laughs> Let's do this. Time to suffer. Time to suffer, <laughs> don't say that. Okay, so Ollie's got to weigh me, and I might have lied slightly on the form. I think I said I was 10 stone, I think I'm 10 and a half. It's Christmas weight. Before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Pre Christmas weight. I, I, you know what? I'm going to put down the camera, this might weigh more. Alright Ollie, so talk me through what I'm about to do for my first test. Uh, so Matt's going to do a couple of technique tests. Uh, just get, see how he copes with these movements and that will tell us how his muscles function and how good his technique is. Starting in this position, using any feet you want. And uh, you're going to cross right over, so your pinkies down on this hold. Uh -huh. Adjust your legs, cross right over again to number three yeah. and cross right over again to number eight. Okay, you might have to shout at me through this. Okay, so first two exercises done. The first one was this twisty thing that I found really scary because I've got dodgy shoulders. Um, but the second one was more square on, I could lock my shoulder blades back and that felt a bit better. I'm still sweating though. So we got some things to work on already, um, but we can see that he's not completely weak and he's going to be strong in several positions. <laughs> Sorry, that's going to be really hard to just came out. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Completely weak is what I was expecting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's time for the first uh, one of the tests. This is a max finger strength, is that right? Yeah, maximum finger strength. Maximum finger strength. <laughs> Are you enjoying filming me suffer? This is the best part, actually. I want to see you cry, like really cry, like a baby. Supportive okay. colleagues at Epic TV. So I've just stole Matt's camera. He's done the first test and just gone around the corner for a rest. I think he's pretty tired. Uh, but the hard part's just about to come, so we'll see how he copes with that one. Um, he's done alright so far, but we'll see how he gets on with the next bit. Okay, so that's the tiring bit of the assessment gone, where I had to do uh, some maximum reps. So I did it as many as I could do, came off at a rest, got back on again, fell off it quicker. It might be worth pointing out here that these guys don't usually do it with anyone climbing below 7B and I'm definitely not climbing 7B at the moment. So I'm finding this quite hard work, but I guess that's the point, isn't it? So we're going to do a couple of tests to see how Matt's muscles function. Uh, just some basic sort of lever lifts and leg raises. So I can see what areas to train in the conditioning part of his uh, training plan. We 
finished the testing, we matched them really well. Uh, we're going to send him the feedback tomorrow and then a training plan through next week so we might can get started and uh, we can make him work nice and hard. <laughs> so I finished my assessment. Um, I don't know, it was tricky. Like I know that having done this job I do and not having the time to climb as much means that my climbing has definitely gone down a whole load. So that's a bit gutting. Um, but the positives are I'm sort of, I'm okay I where I should be. I just need to raise everything up. I'm really excited to be following a training program, actually having someone force me to train because I always just climb. So we'll see how it goes. Make sure you guys keep following on the vlogs and on Epic TV and uh, yeah, I'll let you know how it all goes. I'm gonna have a beer now. So it's been a few days now since I did my lattice test with uh, Tom and Ollie, and they've sent me like a breakdown of all my stats and figures, um, putting it into sort of loads of figures, loads of graphs which I can't show you, um, and some things that I can show you. So I'll flash that up on screen in a minute. Basically, it puts me at a level below what I used to be at, um, but pretty much where I'm climbing at the moment. Um, so that's sort of sport 7A, 7B, bouldering V6-ish, um, which I know I can climb a bit harder than that, but uh, at the moment I'm feeling pretty weak and it's a bit pathetic really. Uh, so what I'm hoping is, is that I can work really hard over the winter and improve these numbers and actually get back to where I was and maybe start pushing into my dream grade, which is AA sport. We'll see about that. So the next stage of this is Tom is going to give me a ring in a few minutes actually and talk me through the sort of training plan that I could follow. Um, I have a pretty crazy life sometimes, I'm travelling a lot, or working for Climbing Daily. So it's going to be interesting to see if I can actually fit it in and how I can make that work. But I'm not complaining, like everyone gets, a lot of people have busy jobs and it's just trying to find a way of making that work. So we'll see. But yeah, about to speak to Tom and uh, we'll see what he says. Hi Matt, right, so um, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look through this training plan that we're going to put together for you for 2017.